Okay, so good afternoon mga anak. So, ngayon ang ating first lesson for this school year is what we call context clues. So, maaari ang iba sa inyo alam ng context clues or based on the given word, clues. Ibig sabihin ng clues, there is a hint. There is a simple hint inside the given sentence. So, what is context clue? Okay, let's now start. According to our definition, it is part of a sentence that helps in identifying the meaning of difficult word or items in a sentence. Okay, for example, sa isang sentence, mga anak, meron tayong na-encounter na isang word na unfamiliar. So, meron tayong word na na-encounter na mahirap intindihin. And at the same time, yung word na yon meron siyang clue sa given sentence. Number two is they provide further information about a word or a phrase that helps the reader understand its meaning. So yung context clue, doon sa given sentence, meron na siyang, for example, meron na siyang example, meron na siyang hint, at meron na din siyang phrase para ma-understand mo or maintindihan mo pa lalo yung word na hindi mo masyadong naiintindihan or, naiintindihan or what we call unfamiliar word. Number three is context refers to a part or a piece of writing that precede or follow a word and contributes to its whole meaning. So in a given sentence, mayroon tayong may encounter na unfamiliar word. And then yung unfamiliar word na yon, hindi natin kailangan gumamit ng dictionary pag gagamit tayo ng context clue. Dahil yung meaning ng unfamiliar word within a sentence na andun na mismo sa sentence na yon. Yun ang tamang paggamit ng context clue. That is the main function of context clue. So, we have seven different types of context clue. The first one is what we call synonym or restatement. It's a type of context clue that provides the synonym of words to provide the meaning of unfamiliar words. Example number one. Rena shout continuously all the time and it makes me uncomfortable. So in a given sentence class, the bold word or the highlighted word is what we call continuously. So continuously is the context. So what is the meaning of continuously without using the dictionary? So in a given sentence, Rina shouts continuously all the times and it makes me uncomfortable. So the meaning of continuously is all the time. So how are we going to get the context of the word continuously? Using the synonym or restatement. Okay? Using comma after the word of the context. Number two is the director felt remorse or shame for hiring some incompetent employees. So what is the meaning of remorse? So we are using context clues using the synonym technique. So remorse. Remorse or shame. Nahihiya. Okay. When we are using remorse, ano yung clue na nagpapakita na ito ay shame? Using the word or. So that is a synonym type of context clue. Number two is what we call definition or statement. It's a type of context that provides direct statement or meaning of the unfamiliar words. So for example, number one. Ossicles and the three small bones in the middle ear. So when we are going to encounter the word ossicles, that is very unfamiliar to all of us. So, ossicles are the three small bones in the middle of the ear. So, within the sentence, there is a phrase that can be used as a context clue. And the ossicles are the three small bones in the middle part of the ear or in the middle of the ear. So, number two, her voice is inaudible. Inaudible. Again, her voice is inaudible. Semicolon, 
no one could hear it. I will read it aloud again. Her voice is inaudible. No one could hear it. So definition or statement clue. The given word is inaudible. So what is the meaning of the word inaudible if we are not using the dictionary? So the given context or statement clue is that we are using semicolon between the context word and the context phrase or the context clue given. So the meaning of inaudible is no one could hear it. So meaning to say sobrang tahimik, very silent. Number three, antonym or contrast clue. It's a type of context that tells the opposite meaning of the difficult word and it shows contrast. Kung nauna, nauna nating example is synonym wherein they have the same meaning but different words. Sa antonym naman, two different words, two different meaning. So, ito naman yung contrast clue. Example, Jonathan is Gregorius unlike his shy brother. So, the bold word or the highlighted word is Gregarius, unlike his shy brother. So, the Italic word is shy. So, Jonathan is Gregarius. Si Jonathan daw ay Gregarius. Si Gre is Gregarius. When we say Gregarius, hindi siya mahiyain. Unlike his shy brother, when we say unlike, it simply means that there is an antonym clue or a contrast clue. So, when we are using context clue, there is an unfamiliar word and then the word follow is familiar to us wherein we can be or we can use that as a clue from the different or unfamiliar word. Number two example, the feral cat would scratch the wall unlike the friendly cat. So meaning to say there is a uh, two different cat, the friendly cat and the feral cat. When we say feral cat, it is an antonym of friendly cat. So what is the basis for antonym or contrast clue? The usage of the word unlike is the basis of antonym or contrast clue. Number four, explanation or example clue. It's a type of context that provides readers with varying example to allow them fully maximize the unfamiliar words. Words like including, such as, and for example, point out sample clues. Examples. Okay, number one. Mammals, including elephants, horses, and carabaos are helpful animals. Okay, in this type of context clues, they, these are using example. For example, mamas. We are going to think, what is mamas? Ano ba yung mamas na yan? So, pagbibigay mo ng example, nalalaman na natin kung ano yung mamas. So, mamas, including elephants, horses, and carabaos are helpful animals. When we say mamas, these are the animals that have hair living on land and getting for example or getting uh useful in our daily life for example dog cat that are example of mamas even we as humans are example of mamas number two as a country in the pacific ring of fire the philippines always experience different natural calamities such as typhoons, earthquakes, and tsunamis. So, in this type of example, the highlighted word or the context word is natural calamities. So, what do you think is natural calamities? By giving explanation or example or clue, such as typhoons, earthquakes, and tsunamis. Those are examples of natural calamities. So, this is what we called example clue.
Number five is what we call cause and effect or reason result clue. It's a type of context clue that explains the reason and the result of an event or actions. So this cause and effect or result and reason result clue rather is using the words like because, since, therefore, thus, so, etc. That may signal context clues or that can give hints for the context word. Example, the government has implemented the community quarantine because experts want to stop or slow down the increase in the number of COVID-19 cases. So, what is the meaning of quarantine? So, in this, in this type of example, we use the word because. Cause and effect. Okay? Because experts want to stop or slow down the increase of the number of COVID-19 cases. Number six is comparison or sameness clues. Comparison or sameness clues. It is a type of context clues that presents the similarities in meaning or context. Words used like, as, similar to, in the same way, likewise, resembling, to, and also that signals the context or sameness clue. Example, I love the palette of pasta like my brother who loves the taste of pansi. Okay. When we are going to analyze the first example, the first example used the word palate of pasta like my brothers who loves the taste of pansil. So what is the sameness clue or comparison clue? The word used is like, like my brothers who loves the taste of pansil. So when we are going to analyze, palate is having the different meaning of the word taste. Number two, Jonah is fond of mountain escapade the same way with Patrick who goes on a beach adventure. So what is the meaning or what do you think is the meaning of the word escapade? When we say escapade, it is adventure. How are we going to analyze that the meaning of escapade is adventure? Using the hint word the same way. The same way with Patrick who goes on a beach adventure. Next one. The last one. Inference, inference or general text clue. It's a type of context clue that provides the meaning of unfamiliar words that can be inferred or guessed from the description of the situation. The author provides non-specific clues, often spreads over the sentence of number of sentence. Example, I wish I had an earplugs to avoid monkeys' vociferous noise. Inference or general text clues. When we are going to analyze the inference or general text clues, mga anak, ito yung nagpo-provide ng meaning base sa description mismo ng salitang unfamiliar sa atin. I wish I had an ear flags. I wish I had ear flags. That is what? That is what we call text clue. And what is the context or unfamiliar word? Vociferous noise. Number two. The criminal's belligerence led to the death of four innocent children. So when we are going to ask or when we are going to question, ano ba yung meaning ng belligerence or belligerence? So when we say when we are going to encounter in a dictionary, the meaning of belligerence is non-stop or hindi mapigil. The criminal's belligerence led to the death of four innocent children. Dahil sa hindi pagtigil ng mga kriminal, ito ay nagkaroon ng pagkamatay or nag to the death of four innocent children. Okay, let us have sample exercise. So the given direction is, read carefully the paragraphs below 
Identify the meaning of the highlighted and unfamiliar words in your notebook. Write the letters that correspond to your answer. Okay, I will give you time. So the given choices is old, decorative, C simple, and D proud. Okay, I will read for you. The palace was extremely ornate. There were magnificent pillars towering uphill. Hallways are filled with red carpets from the entrance up to the very end of each corridor. There were lots of furniture and extremely expensive sculptures. It was also filled with expensive paintings by famous painters across the globe. It was surrounded by gardens with various floral species. So the underlined word or the underlined context that we have to identify is the word ornate. So what is the meaning of ornate based on the given paragraph? A. Old B. Decorative C. Simple D. Proud Five seconds. Make sure you are honest. And the wor right word or the right answer for the word ornate is what we call letter B, decorative. The palace was extremely ornate. Okay, why it is decorative? Because it simply suggests or it simply gives the examples that there is a magnificent pillar towering up hills, always are filled with red carpets. So the context clue given in this type of paragraph is giving off example and that is our hint the number one answer is letter b decorative number two the organization is exclusive for city's elite one cannot be accepted as member if you are not owned a multi-million company uncle eaton is a member of the of that organization he owns one of the known food companies in the country. He also owns various hotel brands located in key cities in the country. I am proud of him as he spends a lot of money to support various charitable works in the province. So the given context word that we are going to identify the meaning is the word elite. So what do you think is the meaning of the word elite based on the paragraph given? A. Rich B. Grand C. Humble D. Honest And the correct answer is what we call rich. So what is the technique used in this given paragraph? Okay, the organization is exclusive for cities elite. One cannot be accepted as a member if you are not owned a multi-million company. So meaning to say, you have to own a multi-million company. And a multi-million company, it means to say that you are rich. And you can be considered as elite. Okay? Number three. Raymond Father was suffering from an unknown illness since least last year. Sorry for the typographical error. Due to his father's condition, his family decided to bring his father in one of the finest hospitals to perform all the necessary tests. It was found out that his father has tumor. The doctors performed a biopsy on the said tumor. Gladly, the results came out declaring it was benign. So let us imagine, mga anak, may na merong sakit ang inyong ama. Na meron siyang tumor. And then ipinunta niya sa ospital. At sinabi ng doktor, gladly, mabuti na lang at benign po ang tumor. So, meaning to say, ano ang ibig sabihin ng benign? So sinabi ng doktor na gladly, the results came out declaring that it was benign. A. Deadly B. Dangerous C. Harmless D. Absent 
Five seconds. So meaning to say the word benign is harmless. Hindi siya deadly, hindi siya dangerous. Nakukuha siya sa medication. Okay? Gladly, the results came up declaring it was benign. Meron bang matutuwan, Doktor? Ay, dangerous. Ang sasakit ng ama mo. Siyempre, wala, di ba? Kaya ang gagawin ng doktor, gladly, medyo masaya sa puso ng isang doktor na ang results out declaring it was benign. Meaning to say, it is harmless. Nagagamot siya. May medication lang yan. Number, what's number we are now? Number four. Despite the existence of the anti-terror law, famous writers and other private movements openly criticized the government. It was an audacious move. So what is the audacious move? Surprisingly, the government accepted their criticisms, pointing out that the right to responsible expressions of oneself is one of the basic rights of all citizens. So what is the meaning of the word audacious based on the given paragraph? A. Great. B. Harmful. C. Coward. D. Sarcastic. Audacious. Despite the existence of anti-terror law, famous writers and other private movements openly criticize. So, kung nire-criticize mo ang gobyerno sa pamamag, dahil dyan sa anti-terror law. So, ano katangi ang meron ka? So, that is what we call audacious move. Audacious. So, the right answer is brave. Ikaw ay matapang. Surprisingly, the government accepted the criticism pointing that the right to responsible expression of oneself is one of the basic rights of all citizens. So, doon sa katapangan natin, meron siyang kalakip na responsibility. Always remember that, mga anak. That if you have a right, there is always nakalakip, there is always indeed as responsibility. Last number. Faye expressed compunction for not accepting the offer of Leo to be his bride. She and Leo are currently trying to reconcile their differences and giving each other a second try. She still hopes that everything will be fine very soon. So the meaning or the underlying word here is the word compaction. So what is compaction? Okay, tagalogin natin yung paragraph. Medyo mahirap yung paragraph. Faye, si Faye ay nag-express ng compaction. Hindi ko nasasabihin ko na yung compaction. Kasi yan ang ating context word. For not accepting the offer of Leo to be his bride. Meaning to say, Leo is proposing to Faye. But, but what? But, he de but she denied it. She and Leo are currently trying to reconcile. Inaayos nilang mabuti ang kanilang relasyon. Their differences and giving each other a second try. Okay, second try daw, mga anak. She still hopes that everything will be fine very soon. Umaasa pa siya sa second chance na sa kalaunan ay magkaka-reconcile sila. So, anong ibig sabihin ng compunction sa first sentence? A. Affection. B. Dryness. C. Happiness. D. Regret. The correct answer is D. Regret. So, compunction meaning to say regret. Nagsisisi si Faye na hindi pa niya tinanggap ang alok na kasal ni Leo. So, today, this is our lesson, the context clue. Kung meron kayong mga tanong, mga anak, paki-comment lang sa comment below. At huwag kakalimutan, kung merong tanong, gladly makikilagay doon. And then, sasagutin niya ni Teacher Paul. 
So please mga anak, make sure ito ay supplemental lamang. Kung merong hindi kayo naiintindihan ang part, I'm sorry pero sasagutin ko yan sa abot ng aking mga kaya. Pakilagay lang sa comment section kung may katanungan kayo. Pakilagay din doon kung anong section ninyo kung maaari. At sasagutin ko lahat ng inyong mga katanungan sa abot ng aking mga kaya. I hope makatulong ito sa inyo sa pamamagitan nito kahit pa paano may, ma may mga linaw o may mga nahint kayo sa ating lesson about sa context clue. And that is the end of our first lesson. Thank you so much. Ah.